the 2022 NFL Draft has concluded. Five Michigan players were drafted. Five more were signed as undrafted free agents. And I'm going to tell you where each one of them went right now. There was a lot of speculation for months that Aiden Hutchinson could possibly be the number one overall pick, but he ended up not going first. That was Trayvon Walker from Georgia. Instead, Hutchinson went number two to the Lions. So he's staying in Michigan. I think Lions fans are happy about it. It seemed like Aiden was pretty happy about it too. So we weren't sure which Michigan player was going to be the next one off the board. It would have been David Ojabo had he not torn his Achilles at Michigan's Pro Day. But it ended up being Dax Hill, who was the only other Wolverine taken in the first round. He went 31st to the Cincinnati Bengals. Dax is a versatile player, and as good as he was at Michigan, it still feels like he still hasn't reached his full potential. So I think it's a good pick for Cincinnati. So David Ajabo did fall in the draft, but he didn't fall as far as some people might have thought. He went in the second round, pick 45 to the Baltimore Ravens. So he gets to play with his old defensive coordinator, Mike McDonald. As long as he gets that explosiveness back before his injury, I see a lot of good things in his future with the Ravens. The next Wolverine off the board is running back Hassan Haskins, and I'm sure he's got to love where he went to Tennessee to be Derrick Henry's backup. Now, in a system like that, where your lead running back is getting a billion touches a year, it's good to have a backup with a similar skill set, and that's Haskins. Big, strong, powerful, doesn't fumble the ball. Derrick Henry isn't necessarily injury prone, but you know, he did get hurt last year. And if that happens again, it'd be nice to have somebody to be able to fill in for him. The last Michigan Wolverine who was drafted was to tackle Andrew Stuber, who went in the seventh round to the New England Patriots, who had a very strange draft. I'm a Patriots fan. I guess it's more strange to people outside the Patriots than it is to us Patriots fans. We kind of know that Bill does his own weird things sometimes, but hopefully Stuber can end up making the roster. You know, Michael Onwenu is now great. He was a Patriots late round selection and he's a starting lineman now. So maybe Stuber can end up being the same way. Personally, I love watching the NFL draft. Every year I get together with some friends. We have some drinks, watch the first round together. But after the draft is over, it's also a fun little period of the free agents signing. It's like as soon as the draft ends, you start seeing all these rapid fire notifications of teams signing players. And Michigan had five of their players get signed. Josh Ross, linebacker, signed with the Ravens. Chris Hinton, defensive lineman, signed with the Giants. Donovan Jeter, also on the D-line, signed with the Steelers. Brad Hawkins, a safety who had what seemed like a very long career at Michigan and a very kind of up and down one, but he had some great plays, especially this year with the forced fumble at Nebraska that kind of saved Michigan's season. He was signed by the Atlanta Falcons and Vincent Gray, cornerback, signed with the Saints. The only Michigan player who was eligible to be drafted and wasn't drafted or signed as of this recording is Dalen Baldwin, the wide receiver. But, you know, he might end up uh, at somebody's camp and hopefully will get signed. Best of luck to all these Michigan men. I hope they have great, long, productive NFL careers. If you're like me, you're already amped up about the 2022 Michigan season. So here are a couple of videos that might help you get even more amped. Go blue, baby.